Hi there, welcome to the channel who likes adventure and learning new things. Today, we are going to explore the jungle and look for some dinosaurs. Let's see what we can find. Here we go. What's that over there? I think we found a dinosaur egg. Come, let's take a closer look. Oh, we did. I wonder whose egg it is. Can you help me? Here is a clue. Which dinosaur had a long neck and is known as the gentle giant? It's the Brachiosaurus. A fun fact about Brachiosaurus is that it is believed to be one of the tallest dinosaurs that ever lived. This massive herbivorous dinosaur roamed the Earth during the late Jurassic period, approximately 154 million years ago. Brachiosaurus had an incredibly long neck, which, combined with its long front legs, allowed it to reach vegetation at heights of up to 9 meters 30 feet or more. Its total height could reach an impressive 13 to 16 meters 42 to 52 feet, making it one of the tallest dinosaurs known to us. Just imagine the sight of a Brachiosaurus gracefully browsing the treetops, towering above other dinosaurs in its environment. Here is another dinosaur egg. Let's try to guess it again. What is the name of the dinosaur that could fly and have feathers? It's the Archaeopteryx. A fun fact about Archaeopteryx is that it represents a significant transitional fossil between dinosaurs and birds. Archaeopteryx lived approximately 150 million years ago during the late Jurassic period and is considered one of the earliest known birds. What makes Archaeopteryx fascinating is its combination of dinosaur-like features and avian characteristics. It had wings with feathers, similar to modern birds, but it also retained some dinosaur-like features such as teeth, claws on its wings, and a long bony tail. This unique combination of traits provides valuable evidence for the evolutionary link between dinosaurs and birds. Archaeopteryx has played a crucial role in our understanding of the origin and evolution of flight in birds. Here is another dinosaur egg. Let's try to guess it again. Which dinosaur is famous for its three horns on its head? It's the Triceratops. A fun fact about Triceratops is that it had one of the largest skulls of any land animal that ever existed. This herbivorous dinosaur lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. The skull of Triceratops was massive and could measure up to 2.5 meters 8 feet in length. What makes it even more impressive is the presence of three prominent horns on its face. The two long horns above its eyes could reach over 1 meter 3 feet in length, while the shorter horn on its nose could measure around 50 centimeters 20 inches. These formidable horns likely served various purposes, such as defense against predators or for combat during intraspecies rivalry. Triceratops is undoubtedly one of the most iconic and recognizable dinosaurs, thanks in part to its impressive skull and distinctive horns. Let's try this one. What is the name of the dinosaur with plates on its back and spikes on its tail? It's the Stegosaurus. A fun fact about Stegosaurus is that it had a unique arrangement of large bony plates and spiky tail. This herbivorous dinosaur lived during the late Jurassic period, around 155 to 150 million years ago. One of the most recognizable features of Stegosaurus is its row of bony plates that ran along its back. These plates, called osteoderms, were embedded in its skin and were likely used for display or thermoregulation. Additionally, Stegosaurus had a tail with four long, pointed spikes at the end, known as the thagomizer. The term thagomizer was actually coined by the cartoonist Gary Larson in reference to this unique feature. While the exact purpose of the spikes is not entirely clear, they may have been used as a defense against predators. The distinct combination of plates and spikes makes Stegosaurus a fascinating and instantly recognizable dinosaur in popular culture. Here is another egg. Which dinosaur could it be? Which dinosaur is known for its sharp teeth and powerful jaws? It's the Tyrannosaurus rex. A fun fact about Tyrannosaurus rex is that it was one of the largest carnivorous dinosaurs to have ever existed. This fearsome predator lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. Tyrannosaurus rex, often referred to as T-Rex, could reach lengths of up to 12 meters 40 feet and stood about 6 meters 20 feet tall at the hips. 
It is estimated to have weighed around five to seven tons. Another intriguing fact about T-Rex is its massive head, which could measure up to 1.5 meters, five feet in length. Its jaws were lined with sharp, serrated teeth, some of which were as long as 30 centimeters, 12 inches. T-Rex had an incredibly powerful bite, capable of exerting tremendous force. Despite its imposing size and fierce appearance, T-Rex likely had limited use of its short, two-fingered arms. These arms were relatively small compared to the rest of its body, leading to much speculation and debate among scientists about their function. Tyrannosaurus rex has captivated the imagination of people worldwide and has become an iconic symbol of the prehistoric world. Its status as one of the largest and most fearsome predators in Earth's history has solidified its place in popular culture. Let's try this one. Which dinosaur could it be? What is the name of the dinosaur that had a long, whip-like tail? It's the Diplodocus. A fun fact about Diplodocus is that it had one of the longest tails of any dinosaur. This massive herbivore lived during the late Jurassic period, approximately 153 million years ago. Diplodocus had an extremely long neck and tail, with the tail often measuring around 26 meters 85 feet in length. The tail of Diplodocus served various purposes. It likely provided balance to counterbalance the long neck and front of the dinosaur's body. The tail may have also been used as a defense mechanism against predators. Some scientists believe that Diplodocus could whip its tail with great force, producing loud cracking sounds that could potentially deter predators or stun them. However, the exact purpose and mechanics of this tail action are still a subject of scientific research and debate. The remarkable length of Diplodocus tail, combined with its overall enormous size, makes it an intriguing dinosaur to study and imagine roaming the prehistoric landscapes. Here is another egg. Which dinosaur could it be? Which dinosaur had a crest on its head and could make sounds like a trumpet? It's the Parasaurolophus. A fun fact about Parasaurolophus is that it had a remarkable cranial crest that extended from the back of its skull. This herbivorous dinosaur lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 76 to 73 million years ago. The cranial crest of Parasaurolophus was a long, hollow bony tube that extended backward from its skull. Scientists believe that this elaborate crest had several functions. It is thought to have played a role in vocalization, as it likely acted as a resonating chamber for producing sounds. The unique shape and structure of the crest may have allowed Parasaurolophus to generate loud, low-frequency calls possibly for communication within its herd or for attracting mates. The size and shape of the crest could have also been used for species recognition and display purposes, helping to differentiate Parasaurolophus individuals from other dinosaurs. It is fascinating to consider how this distinctive feature may have contributed to the social interactions and behaviors of Parasaurolophus during its time. The cranial crest of Parasaurolophus sets it apart from many other dinosaurs and makes it a subject of great interest and study among paleontologists. Here is another dinosaur egg. Let's try to guess it again. What is the name of the dinosaur with a club tail used for defense? It's the Ankylosaurus. A fun fact about Ankylosaurus is that it had a heavily armored body for protection against predators. This herbivorous dinosaur lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. Ankylosaurus was covered in bony plates known as osteoderms that formed a deaf armor-like covering over its body. What makes Ankylosaurus unique is its array of large, bony knobs called osteoderms embedded in its skin. These osteoderms acted as natural body armor, providing protection against potential threats. Some of the osteoderms even had sharp, pointed spikes extending from them, adding an extra layer of defense. Additionally, Ankylosaurus possessed a distinctive weapon at the end of its tail called a tail club. The tail club was a thick, bony mass that could be swung with great force. It likely served as a defensive tool against predators, such as Tyrannosaurus rex, potentially delivering powerful blows that could deter or injure attackers. The impressive armor and unique tail club of Ankylosaurus demonstrate the incredible adaptations that dinosaurs developed over time for their survival in a dangerous prehistoric world. Let's try this one. Which dinosaur had a bony dome on its head and walked on two legs? It's the Pachycephalosaurus. A fun fact about Pachycephalosaurus is that they are often referred to as bone-headed dinosaurs. These herbivorous dinosaurs lived during the late Cretaceous period 
approximately 70 to 65 million years ago, pachycephalosaurs are known for their distinctive thick skulls, which were heavily reinforced with bone. The name pachycephalosaurus actually means thick-headed lizard. The skulls of pachycephalosaurs were dome-shaped and could reach impressive thicknesses of up to 25 centimeters 10 inches. The purpose of their thick skulls has been a subject of scientific debate. It was initially believed that pachycephalosaurs used their thick skulls for headbutting contests or combat within their species, similar to how modern-day rams or goats do. However, more recent research suggests that they might have used their reinforced skulls for display and visual communication, rather than for direct combat. They may have engaged in head-in collisions or flank-to-flank -flank pushing matches to establish dominance or attract mates. The unique head structure of pachycephalosaurs adds to the diverse array of adaptations found within the dinosaur kingdom and showcases the fascinating ways in which different species evolve to survive and thrive in their environments. This is the last dinosaur egg. Let's find out which dinosaur this one is. What is the name of the dinosaur that was small and fast, often depicted in movies? It's the Velociraptor. A fun fact about Velociraptor is that it was much smaller than its popular depiction in movies. This carnivorous dinosaur lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 75 to 71 million years ago. Contrary to its portrayal as a large, scaly monster, Velociraptor was actually about the size of a turkey. Velociraptor measured around 1.8 meters 6 feet in length, stood about 0.6 meters 2 feet tall at the hip and weighed roughly 15 kilograms, 33 pounds. Its body was lightweight and slender, with long, powerful hind legs that indicate it was a swift and agile predator. Despite its smaller size, Velociraptor was still a formidable hunter. It possessed sharp, curved claws on its feet that it likely used to grab and hold on to prey. It also had a long, flexible tail that helped with balance and maneuverability while chasing its prey. The portrayal of Velociraptor in popular culture has led to misconceptions about its size and appearance. Nonetheless, the real Velociraptor was an impressive predator in its own right, showcasing the diversity and complexity of the dinosaur world. That is the end of our dinosaur adventure today. We learned so much. How many dinosaurs did you know? We hope that was fun. If you enjoyed this too, please help us out with a like and share with your friends. If you would like to see more content, please subscribe. Until our next adventure, hope to see you soon. Have a great day.